a number of weeks ago, we had uh, we had an attorney on here, Clifton Molitor, and we were talking about the college admissions scandal. Where did that happen? I think it was Harvard. USC was brought into that. Maybe Yale was brought in. A few, a few different schools. We were talking about the ins and outs and the legality. And I'm just watching this thing play out. And I don't know this gal's name. Lori something. Lori Laughlin. I don't know how to say her last name. She was on Full House, a show I used to watch. I think she, I think she played Aunt Becky. At any rate, that's how I know her. Then there's another gal named Felicity Huffman, who I am very familiar with. Uh, I like her work. She was fine in Desperate Housewives. She was great in uh, Three Billboards uh, outside Ebbing, Missouri. And she's married to uh, the guy from Shameless. What's that guy's name, Nick, from Shameless? William something. William, he's very Macy. famous. What is it? William Macy. William Macy. All right. So, and I don't think those two women teamed up. I don't think they were together. I think they just both happened to be women and they both just happened to be actresses in Hollywood. I think. I've never heard the story where they like, Went on this together. But either way, so they get jammed up. And now Lori's at least come out and apologized. Oh, I'm sorry for doing that. I'm kind of looking around going, really? Are you really? I mean, have a backbone in this thing. Have some strength in this thing. You're going to get one side that, that's saying how wrong this was. But you're going to get other thing. Uh, other people are going to come out and go, well, you did something to help your kid. I mean, I wanted to get my kid in, so I spent a bunch of money too. And I got him into extra clicker things so that his resume looked good. and. You know, I was, I was, I was getting them tutored and I was paying good money for that. I was paying a bunch of money to private schools and I was, I was just, you know, donating to, to teams to get the coaches to write. I spent a bunch of money too. You found a way to do it a little bit quicker than I did. You're going to have people to say that. I don't want an opinion from you guys to whether that's right or not. That's not the stance I'm taking. What I am taking is for her to come out as a parent and find somebody that's willing to take her money to broker a deal. You can come out and apologize for that? That seems to make a level of sense. That part of it seems to make a level of sense. Seems to be what everybody else is doing. Seems to be the reason that the parents go to the private schools and get the tutors and get on the fancy club and sports teams and try to get their kids recruited. Seems like we're all going in the same direction. They spent their money in other places to build up a resume to get in. You found a guy that said, just give me the money and I'll get it in. I mean, there seems to be something here where I don't think you're going to have to come out on a big apology tour as much as just tell the story the way that the story happens. Those facts may not be wonderful for you. But those facts are also not as terrible for you as other people are trying to paint this. There's just not. I listened to the DA come out, who was the one that was coming down on all of it, and he said in his speech, hey, we realize that things like this happen all the time. If somebody donates, this is his words. If somebody comes out and donates hundreds of millions of dollars and gets a building on campus put with their name on it, yeah, they're going to have some favors. But this is a little different because it wasn't done as quite out in the open. I don't know about that. It sounds like you're saying the same thing. It sounds like you were saying the same thing to me. That sounds the exact same thing to me. I'm well aware of the heartfelt argument that the kids whose parents didn't have those connections got left out. I just think you're missing the argument that those schools at the highest of levels are a business. And as a guy that went to the school and whose dad spent the money and I gave up the time and I went and got certified smart so that I could look down on everybody else and pretend I was in a, a higher group than that, man. What are you guys doing? That's all part of marketing of the schools. It was nothing more than a really goddamn good time. That was it. Well, you'll get a really great degree from me. What do you think they have at Yale? What do you think they have at Harvard? They got some golden book that I can't go check out at any other library? Do you not see the marketing ploy? Of These are just a business. You got a bunch of uppity, a bunch of uppity pricks that didn't want to go out and join the workforce, and they found a way to get out of the workforce for four years, and all the while society raised them up to act as though they were the higher bunch of society. Well, the real members of society that are moving the world forward are out working. Maybe it's because they wanted to. Maybe they couldn't get in. Maybe they just didn't see the, the advantages. But either way, to act as though the marketing 
and act as though the business side of the education isn't there. And I'm really not seeing the, I'm really not seeing this guys. What is the difference if somebody donates a couple of hundred million dollars and builds a school, which is the example that was given. Not by me. That's the example that was given by the guy who's coming after him and therefore has the right to call in favors and get people that didn't have the SAT score, didn't have the resume, didn't have the community service, all the things that would different administrations would look at and be able to get them in off of a phone call. And we've all heard those stories. I could tell you a ton of those stories where somebody got to the biggest donor of the school and got a favor call. I could tell you a ton of those. There's nothing underhanded about that at all. And that's not my pit. That's according to the guy who's coming after them. Now, they want to come out and say, oh, I'm really sorry I did this. I'm really sorry you did this. Are you really sorry that you got caught doing this? Because there's a meaningful difference. And I do think that is a, it's a very weird thing to start with, right? If you ask the parent, okay, why do you want your kid to go to one of these? And first off, USC, not for nothing. I have friends from, come on. USC is now all of a sudden a really good school with some kind of tough admission standards in the same conversation as Yale and Harvard. I mean, excuse me, excuse me, parents, but not exactly money well spent. What was your kid's SAT score that you needed to cheat the system to get into USC? I mean, what did he have a 680? Is that what happened? Cheat the system to get into USC. I mean, come on. They should be getting a refund on their money. But either way, let's take a little closer look. Hey, parents, just tell me this just so I can unpack this whole thing. Why did you try to rig this? Why did you try to get advantages for your kid? Well, I want him to get a good education. Okay, great. But tell me why. Well, because I want him to get a good job. Okay, but tell me why. Well, because I want him to make good money someday. Okay, great. Because it sounds like I can just tell you right now how your kid can have a whole bunch of money. Sounds like I could just go A to Z and we could leave this criminal act out of it. By the way, I mean, it's USC. Who are, who are you going to impress with the USC? Not for, I went to the University of Oregon. I'm in the same boat, same league, same conference, okay? So before anybody comes down on me, I'm just being real about it. You should not be impressed that I got a degree from the University of Oregon if you're talking about Harvard and Yale. But you also shouldn't have to cheat to get yourself into UFC. Just go to, what's that online university? Phoenix? Phoenix Online? Go there. It's the same thing. 